680's business editor Richard Southern joins us now. Hello, Richard. Francis, how are you tonight? Not bad. Uh, you know, if you're a homeowner, I'm sure you're going to want to pay attention to this story. We're talking about housing numbers for November. So uh, sales are actually up in October, but they are down from a year ago. So yeah, so prices up, continue to fall. That's right, up on a month-over-month -month basis. So we're starting to see the market recover a bit after a recent sell-off, but again, the year-over-year -year, uh, number is certainly down. So the number of homes sold in November, Francis, just over 7,300. That is up 256 from October, but down 13 and a third percent on a year-over-year -year basis. Average price of a house right now here in the city, 761,000. That's down 2% from November of 2016. A lot of this is tied to a big downturn for the price of detached homes. That detached price now 996000 and change. That's down 5.8%. Condos still hot. Look at the average condo price above 516000 up 16.4%. New listings are up 37% on a year-over-year -year basis. Francis, people, they want to try and sell their home, I think, before the end of the year when new rules come into place. But we're also seeing uh, some new buyers enter the market because of these lower prices. Be interesting to see where the market goes in the new year. So are you someone who gets a real Christmas tree or uh, one of the artificial ones? You know, usually I have the artificial. I have to say this year, for the first time, I bought a real Did deal you? tree. We, I wanted to the try Sousa's it out. always real. I don't think, even in my uh, in my entire life, I don't think we've ever had an artificial really? tree. Really? Well, you've got the real Christmas tree money, Francis. <laughs> Must be nice, money, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you got to clean up all the things. They fall. The, uh, the needles, they fall on the ground. That's the problem with the real tree. And, you know, another problem with it, Francis, the prices are going up. The average price of a real Christmas tree up 10% this year. It's the first hike in about 10 years. It's tied to a shortage of trees in the U.S. It's led Canadian Christmas tree growers to send their trees to the states where they get a better price. Doug Drysdale is the owner of Drysdale Tree Farms. This year, most growers have raised their prices just to try and catch up a little bit with whatever the expenses are. And another reason why we're paying more for Christmas trees is because there's a big shortage of tree supply in the U.S., right? Prices in the states have gone crazy. A six to seven foot Fraser fir which will retail here in Ontario for probably around $60. In Fort Lauderdale, it's 100 U.S. for the same tree. Wow, what's led so to that? What's happened is it takes about 10 years to grow a tree. But if you go back to 2007 in the U.S., well, they had all that problem with their mortgages and everything else. Well, most of the growers that were there stopped planting trees because they didn't know if they were going to be able to sell them. So now, because there's a 10-year lag, now it's 2017, and we're starting to see the beginning of that. So the financial crisis in the mm. States 10 years ago has us paying more for trees now. I thought that was fascinating. And you know what, Francis? You're doing something good for the environment by having a real tree. They say it's actually more environmentally friendly because the oh. fake ones, the plastic ones, will eventually end up in a landfill. That is true. Well, okay. if I can do my part, I will. Good for you. So uh, the LCBO, here's something interesting. They're offering a takeout service for alcohol. <laughs> yes, they are indeed. Uh, starting this spring, the LCBO will launch a click and collect service. So this will allow you to, you know, go on your computer or your phone and order up some booze and then go to the store and pick it up. It'll be waiting for you. It'll be ready so you can avoid the lines, avoid human interaction. Uh, LCBO customers can currently order alcohol for delivery, but it's not available for same-day delivery. So this, you would be able to pick it up the same day. Walmart and Loblaws, they've already put in place these click and collect services, Francis. You know what? My wife loves going into the LCBO and speaking with a sommelier there. I think his name is Jeff. Uh, I don't know. He gets a lot of attention from my wife. All I know. So <laughs> it's no nice, it's nice to go in and peruse and have a look, but sometimes, mm -hmm. especially this time of year with the holidays, you got the big lines to deal with. So this would sort of circumvent that. That's right. So, you know, uh, rumor that uh, Shoppers Drug Mart was going to get into the weed business, and now they've struck a major deal yeah, to, they, uh, with the chain that sells weed. You're right. They have been really eager to get into this because, of course, there's money to be made. Shoppers striking a deal now with Canadian medical marijuana company Afria, and Afria will sell shoppers uh, medical marijuana, which shoppers will sell online. They won't be allowed to sell it in stores. Uh, so this will be prescription only. And there is a big if. Health Canada first has to approve shoppers' 
application to become a licensed producer. Uh, but certainly, you know, a lot of companies and a lot of pharmaceutical companies looking to get in on this uh, earlier this year. Canymed, another pot producer, inked to deal with Pharma Choice to sell medical pots. So we'll see where this story goes, Francis. But surely they're eyeing some big profits there in the weed sector. Mm -hmm. So, you know, health nuts, uh, guacamole lovers, they've been freaking out, right, because of yeah. the price of avocados. But they're now coming back down to earth. Yeah, you and I were talking about this this past summer when mm -hmm. avocado prices hit a record high in July. But now, a wholesale avocado price is down 50% from jet that July peak, and this is because the crop is looking better. Good weather and better pest control has Mexico's avocado crop now growing, and that's where we get uh, most of those from. And experts say the larger crop should prevent prices from spiking again soon. Still, wholesale avocado prices are up 75% this year, Francis. You know, Bill Clinton loved his Mickey D's, and now uh, Richard Southern, investigative journalist, has been doing some digging into Donald Trump's McDonald's order. Breaking news on this one. <laughs> Tell me what you think of this. So a new what? book has That's said what Trump... That's not all in one sitting, is it? Yes, this is yes. Trump's favorite McDonald's order, Francis. Two Big Macs, two filet fishes and a large chocolate wow. shake to wash it all down. So that's 2,400 calories, uh, 1,700 milligrams of salt. Uh, this order here in Toronto would cost $31. Uh, the, the book says on Trump's campaign jet, there were four major food groups, McDonald's, KFC, Pizza and Diet Coke. Oh, boy. Well, <laughs> as long as we have the diet soda, you know, we're okay, right? <laughs> Going to have impeach the arteries in the heart or something. Yeah, no <laughs> kidding. All right. Thank you, Richard. Thanks, Francis.